nombre es María Ávila Chosco, soy educadora en salud y nutrición en Campus Guatemala. Uh, good morning, my name is Magali Ávila Chosco and I am educator in uh, uh, health and nutrition for the Campus Project in Guatemala. Hoy vengo a contarles la historia eh, de cómo contribuyen los vegetales a salvar a salvar la vida de Lester Mancilla. Today I'm here to tell you the story how vegetable contribute in saving the life of Lester Mancilla. Actualmente Lester tiene cinco años de edad y él es el número seis de siete hijos que tiene la familia de Don Rolando y Doña Catalina Mancilla. Uh, today Lester Saul um, Catan has, is five years old and uh, he's the six of seven uh, children of uh, Don Rolando and Doña Catalina Mancilla Canal. A los tres años de edad, Lester eh, le diagnostica a un médico la enfermedad de leucemia. At uh, three years old, Lester had a diagnosis, diagnosis of leukemia by the doctors. Los padres de Lester en ese momento se preocupan mucho porque son de recursos económicos muy bajos. The Lester's family was very concerned because they are very poor. And they Pero los padres de Lester hacen todos los esfuerzos posibles para llevarlo a su tratamiento. But even, the, even though the mother and father's Lester's mother and father made all the efforts to provide all the treatments he needed. Eh, Scampis llega y promueve los vegetales en la comunidad de Lester. In, the, in that moment, uh, Scampis arrived in the village and was uh, promote when he arrived, uh, when Scampis arrived, was promoting uh, the vegetable cultivation. Eh, nosotros eh, incorporamos el sistema de microriego con Scampis para la producción de los vegetales. We were introducing a microirrigation system to cultivate vegetables. La familia de Lester eh, estaban preocupados por lo que el médico les decía en ese momento. The family, the Lester family was very worried for the Lester condition and for what the doctor was telling them. El médico diagnosticó eh, que el tratamiento de Lester también tenía que contribuir su alimentación con puros vegetales. So the doctor told that Lester should complete his treatment also with a good uh, nutrition full of vegetables. No tenían en ese momento cultivos de vegetales sino únicamente café. But they didn't have any cultivation of vegetables, they were, they cultivate only coffee. Scampis contribuía a capacitarlo en la preparación de su terreno porque era muy duro y había que aplicarle materia orgánica. So Scampis started helping them in preparing the in, in preparing the land because it was very uh, very hard and full of clay. La familia de Lester se capacita en la preparación de sus terrenos para la siembra de vegetales con un sistema de microriego. Capacity building in uh, uh, how to cultivate vegetables and how to do it with micro irrigation. Eh, la familia también se capacita en los temas de seguridad alimentaria y nutricional y salud sexual y reproductiva. Uh, the family has also been trained in um, uh, nutrition and, uh, uh, and food security and uh, reproduction health. Huh? Eh, lo hacemos esos temas porque son familias eh, numerosas y de escasos recursos económicos. We um, train them on on these topics because uh, the, uh, there are big big families, but even oh, but also very very poor. Es muy importante para nosotros los cambios de actitud de las familias del área rural. For us, it's very important that the families change their behavior in, uh, in living. En ese momento la familia ya produce sus vegetales a través de scampis. Um, zanahoria, acelga, rábanos. Uh, 
uh, now the family is already um, producing uh, uh, their own vegetable. They produce radish, spinach, carrot. Eh. Esta producción es importante porque tiene un contenido de hierro y muchas vitaminas, que era la parte que el diagnóstico del médico era importante para la alimentación del éster. La familia del éster también fue capacitada en la preparación de los alimentos tanto para Lester como para el resto de su familia. Para Scampis es muy importante la alimentación de, la, de todas las familias del área rural, por eso se daba este tema. So for for Scampis Guatemala es muy importante Lester está en un proceso de recuperación de la enfermedad de leucemia. Actualmente visita una vez al mes al médico. Es así como Lester se ha recuperado, como pueden ver la fotografía. And this is how is now Lester. Much eh, ahora eh, los padres de Lester están contentos ellos ahora eh, participan en reuniones de familias de la comunidad eh, comentando y dando recomendaciones de sembrar y consumir muchos vegetales para mejorar la vida de las familias del área rural para mí es mucha alegría el lograr el que estas familias ahora tengan otra forma de cómo pensar y recomendar haber tomado todas las recomendaciones que en Scampi se le dieron y ahora eh, las familias las encontramos diferentes. So personally I'm very happy that the family uh, has achieved all they wanted to achieve with, uh, with uh, this garden and, uh, and they are also promoting and recommending others and they changed their way of thinking. Uh, Thank you. Muchas gracias. Thank you. Before passing on to uh, Santiago, I just wanted to say, ask if anybody had any questions for Magali. Any clarification that you required from Magali's story? Because it is a touching story. Yes, sir. Okay, gracias. Actually, it's not a, it's not a question, it's just a remark. I think it's important to remember that um, uh, micro-irrigation is just a tool to achieve something. And what uh, she showed from Guatemala, they achieved uh, vegetable production in difficult uh, circumstances. And this is actually the gain that the people got. And micro-irrigation is nothing um, without an integrated approach. So you saw that she did a lot of trainings, a lot of awareness creation. And I think this is actually what made the success. This, um, They could have irrigated also with other technologies. It's not my micro, -irrig uh, micro irrigation that changes everything. It's the whole package around it. And the micro irrigation is just a tool to achieve the vegetable production. Uh, yeah, thank you for that clarification. Any other questions and comments before going to Santiago? Yes, sir. I'm just wondering, um, poor families and then the support from uh, a project in introducing a new way of doing things, 
how will that uh, poor family and the society develop a new economy? Who is in control of that? Uh, who c how can they afford to buy the fertilizers and are there microloans involved? And just some few words on this. Claro. La tecnología llega al sistema de microriego a través de Scampis. Eh, es una herramienta únicamente la que se utiliza para apoyar la producción. Nosotros, eh, el equipo técnico, les enseñamos a ellos cómo instalar y utilizar esa herramienta, cómo hacer los preparativos para mejorar la tierra. Pues. Yeah, so the technology Uh, they have been able to in use the technology because it has been introduced by Scampis and in that case was uh, introduced, they didn't go to the market in that case. So it has been introduced and presented by the Scampis staff and uh, they at the same time teach them, told them how to prepare the natural fertilization, how to work the land, uh, ho how to um, cultivate vegetables because they don't know really how to do it because they are they cultivate only coffee that has a different type of um, uh, technique. Uh, you, you cultivate in a different way than vegetables. So in that case, I don't know if this is more or less. Okay, we'll, we'll have to talk about yeah. Exactly about scaling. How do you... Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah sir. Well, yeah. yeah, hold on, hold on a second, sir. Okay, my, um, my name is Rudolf, for those who have missed it, so may I also invite anyone who grabs this mic to briefly introduce her or himself, so that the people who may not know the speaker are um, able to familiarize. Uh, to get to the, the question um, of who controls the, the rural economy, um, well that's a, a quite a big one, but I'm sure that elements of, the, of that um, question will be um, addressed by the presentations particularly with regards to uh, sustainability, scaling up uh, to the, the benefit sharing. Um, let's not, as the first um, uh, say speaker was hinting, um, take this as a crusade for micro-irrigation. Uh, it's, it's definitely not the point. The point is that changes in people's lives are, of course, extremely complex, are uh, always dependent on a whole series of, uh, of conditionalities and opportunities. And what this project likes to, to highlight, what this, these stories like to highlight, is that different uh, people at different times um, in their development path take uh, uh, opportunities, create opportunities, and pass them on. So um, if I may, may suggest that there's a whole sequence of uh, presentations that as um, um, if we go too far into to, to questions now of any nature, technological or philosophical, let's let's give the the, the, the three um, countries a chance of sharing with us um, how they they see their development pathways, and um, then we can of course exchange amongst us some some critical voices of of support or um, questions of uh, say um, a more inquisitive nature. Thank you to bear with us for that one. Okay, Santiago, 